I am really excited today because I just learned a new way to factor this that I had never heard of before. Uh, and it's it's super helpful. Usually factoring something like this is such, it's a pain. Um, so let me show you the old way of doing this and then I'll show you the new quicker way. So before I would have done six times two is 12. And then I would have looked for factors of 12 that add to seven. So let's see, 12 is one times 12. No, that doesn't work. 12 is also two times six. Um, don't think so. 12 is three times four. Hey, three plus four, that's seven. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. And then I would have rewritten, I would have rewritten seven X as three X plus four X. And whenever I'm factoring with four terms, we do factor by grouping. So I would group these things. This first term has a greatest common factor of three X. So I'll factor that out. And if I pull three X out of six X squared, I'd be left with two X. Three X out of three X, that's one. Here, the greatest common factor is just two. So I'll pull a two out. Uh, two out of four X, that's gonna be two X. Two out of two is one. And now you notice that two X plus one and two X plus one are the same. So I can factor that out front. And I multiply by whatever's left, in this case, three X and I plus two. Okay, that is the old way of factoring by grouping. And there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it works absolutely. But I learned, it's, I mean, it's really the same thing, but I learned a trickier, quick way to do it. It's called, I guess, I've heard it called the slide and divide uh, by my coworker. So here's how we work. Uh, here's how it works. Take this six, slide it over there, and multiply it by the two. So uh, I'm going to rewrite this, and two times six is 12. Okay, now pretend this is an easy trinomial to factor, right? Since there's a one in front of the x squared, I can just jump to this. I just have to look for two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to seven. Um, and we kind of already looked at those, but it's going to be three and four, right? Three times four is 12 and three plus four is also seven. Okay, here is the trick. Um, this six that we slid over, that, that was a slide, now we have to divide. So slide and divide. I'm dividing those two numbers by six and I'm gonna reduce those. So uh, three over six, that's one half. And four over six, that's going to be two thirds. And the last thing that you need to do is take whatever's on the bottom of the fraction and multiply by the x out front. So this two will come in front of the two x. One half becomes a one. The three goes in front of the x and two thirds becomes two. And hey, look at that. That's what this factored into before. So I'll leave it up to you which method you find faster. I think this is way easier and Frankly, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I think that's awesome. So take this number when, whenever you're factoring something, a trinomial that doesn't have a leading coefficient of a one, we do the leading coefficient, in this case, six times the constant number, in this case, two to get a 12. Factor this like you normally would. Look for two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to seven. It would factor into x plus three, x plus four and divide the constants by that leading coefficient, in this case, six. Simplify, three over six is one half, four over six is two thirds, and then you take the number in the denominator and move it up in front of the x. That is how you factor with the slide and divide.